Hello, this video shows how to use a SQLite um, database manager. So, and I've, uh, I've documented it in my website, ready.net, something else with a link. So first we start with our uh, application. So this is Windows 10 um, Visual Studio. And I have here a universal Windows platform app where I do some stuff and I've, I'm using there a database and inside the database I say okay here create a table so the database SQLite databases are uh, normally created at one time so when you uh, when you start debugging or compile it and deploy it so when you go to build rebuild and then deploy and the deploy uh, the system the system installs the application in Windows 10. It's like the similar similar one in uh, in Android uh, with the APK. And then the, at the installation sandbox, uh, there's also installed this create table database. So uh, and you will find it here on Windows 10. Here that's the installation and we will see a little bit more from there and at your application so this is my debug application it's a small robot where i collect website data so but where's this database i can't find it so uh one way is that you go there and say to your uh in your browser your connection your file connection and say okay uh, the, my file was called sqlite sample db so when you go to the C drive, you will find that uh, when you enter it there into your search field, SQLite uh, sample, then it runs a lo lot of time. And the system will come up in uh, app data local. So this is my user, it's me, app data local packages, and then that's the application ID and then um, uh, GUID and then at local state and that's the SQLite sample. So I keep this in here in mind. Uh, when I run my database, uh, at here at the moment I ha don't have it. So I said, okay, to my application, the same. I said, okay, here, create a SQLite connection. That's a small database uh, a script, which I wrote there. And then say, okay, my connection data source show me my connection data source so when i do that system says okay that's my database and you see that's the same path as on my browser when i scan the c drive okay go on uh, when i stop there i go to visual studio and there under tools extensions updates you may install here the sqlite sql server compact toolbox extensions and updates here under uh, online and then you will find it install it and uh, you will have it have it there it's eric ej um, from 2018 current version no that's my, my version when i installed it it's um, i don't know it's not the newest one but it's okay it's uh, good work good stuff so uh, i installed it and as soon as you have installed it, you will find here under the Visual Studio Tools, SQLite SQL Server Compact Toolbox. Uh, now, nothing is in there. It uh, copies the path to the applications. Now I go to, um, under Universal Window Platform Apps, the SQL uh, local databases are not allowed, so you need a SQL Server. And now we, I go to Add SQLite Connection then I go to browse and then I drop into the path my path which I have got there oh, this is the wrong one uh, where's my path here I have it still so that's my search path I will say browse go there I say enter and now one file is left sqlite sample db so this filter is on database i double click on it and i close it and now i have here my database and that's a good tool here on the tables you will find your uh, your 
table and now you're able to uh, run it in this case as I said it's a small uh, web scanner uh, and you are able to do some entries there so you, so you can change it and the, the most point best, best point is that you have here the script as select for example you may use those select field commands or insert I always uh, I'm now I always can't remember this um, this transact SQL uh, string so that's quite helpful but the most helpful stuff is if you want to look something uh, up in your system so you will find it there so this is a good tool you will find the code and documentation for this under my website read the net details and I hope you use it there and I hope you will work with this applications uh, with SQLite servers, a quite easy uh, database.